now, one of the things uh, people say about the show is they like that you know, they're taught a little bit about music. And they, they asked me after last year how it is I got into music. I actually started very uh, young. I was given some records by my godfather. This is the first one, um, Let Me Touch Him, which is a sort of folk song. Thing, uh, and then the sequel to that, um, he touched me, which was interesting. <laughs> some people are laughing at that. Some people are wondering whether they should confiscate my computer and take it to the police. <laughs> and then I probably got into folk, uh, and I bought this one here, A Taste of Dick Black. <laughs> then I took up an instrument. I actually took up the recorder, and somebody gave me this, uh, Svetlana Grubasolvik. My lips are for blowing. Now, as a teenager, I actually wrote to her asking if I could have some recorder lessons. And the cow never wrote back, actually. So then I started getting in into uh, classical music proper, and uh, I actually bought this for myself, Dvorak, music he wrote when he was just four. Um, it's rubbish, of course, that music. Um, half of it's in crayon. Uh, but he went on on a very successful career, uh, nine symphonies, isn't it? Uh, and a hell of a lot of film music, um, which is amazing when you think about it, because a lot of the films weren't to be made for another 50 years, but just goes to show what a visionary he was. What I like about this cover, on, on, on the cover there, is a picture of a man who appears to be playing a small goat. <laughs> That's, of course, now illegal in a lot of countries. And then, uh, then I got from those symphonies into Beethoven symphonies. This is an interesting uh, album. Ludwig van Beethoven, 1717 to 1970. <laughs> of course, he didn't write much in the last, you know, 150 years. When a bit, <laughs> what happened to him? Okay, uh, that's how I got to learn about music. So what we want to do...